Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchor That Binds. This is a Capricorn reading, December 7th to the 11th. I know it's like already late, it's the 11th. I was decorating for Christmas, stuff like that. But I'm already starting on the weekends in advance. So, um, and I'm gonna do uh, the middle of the month to the end of the month also. So Capricorn, December 7th to the 11th. Uh, there's a whole bunch of Capricorns out there. This is not gonna be every single Capricorn story. Take what's yours. Leave the rest alone. Also feel free to swap around the energies. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. One last shuffle Capricorn, December 7th to the 11th. Okay, Capricorn. So you could be grounding the things that you want. The sacral chakra has a lot to do with life's desires. It's also like, you know, the ovaries and the penile gland, you know, your uh, sexual reproductive systems. You know, so... This could be things that you're grounding, um, see, positive movement forward. It's the transformation of the eclipses, man. The energy is just fantastic. Um, yeah, and it's choosing wisely here. So you could be, you know, maybe you're lusting after things and now you're choosing to, you know, what do I really want? You know, not just what I want, you know, right now. What do I really want in the long run? And that could be something that you're going through Capricorn here, especially with the sacral chakra at the bottom of the deck. So first card out, we have financial material changes. So if you've been feeling any side of kind of lack where it's just stagnant, where it's kind of like you don't have as much money as you wish you would have. Um, let's see. So here we have truth in the middle. And it's kind of stagnant with your money. So you might be like wanting that to change. Your person looks like they're going through a major tower moment and temptation. Wow. So your person probably, um, I mind you, you know, People, us as people, we have different things that work off us, right? Some people work off, you know, angels, light workers. You know, I'm a light worker. I work off the most high angels and, um, you know, love and light and the Holy Spirit. But some people, they work off the devil, you know. Um, but sometimes it's not their fault, you know. Uh, a lot of times it's because, you know, due to childhood traumas, um, they have demons that are latched onto them. And demons are latched onto them not only from family generational curses, but as well as demons are made when you have an issue, you bury it inside you, and you do not work on it. Then it becomes a demon. And it looks like, unfortunately, Capricorn, well, not unfortunately, it looks like your person is kind of having to deal with those demons. Okay, Capricorn? Now, let's take a look here. We're going to break it down. I'm going to do the five cards for you, five for your person. So, Capricorn, December 7th to the 11th. And it looks like you're here just chilling, you know, wishing your money would be better. And it's like there's something here that you guys are both realizing. Capricorn, December 7 to the 11. Last shuffle for Capricorn. Wow. Okay. I'm going to fix that. WTF. There you go. Okay, Capricorn, December 7 to the 11. Okay, Capricorn, so you could be focusing a lot on your money, Capricorn. Um, yeah, again, you're just very grounded, very nurturing, very down to earth. I feel like you are focused on your money. Um, but you have love to give, especially with that page of cups. I feel like that's childhood, like childlike love, you know, a sweet, innocent love. So let's see, Capricorn, five cards for you. Okay, so yeah, you could be losing money because of this person. I mind you, oftentimes... Uh, you have to be careful who you sleep with, like be intimate, have sex with, because um, they call it STD, sexual transmitted disease, okay? Um, sexual, spiritual transmitted disease, okay? So you have to really be careful who you're intimate with, because if you connect with someone, the energy transfers, okay? Uh, with the seven of uh, swords here, you know, for some reason, I feel like this could be affecting your finances, could be dealing with someone who's kind of, um, they're, you know, they're, they're, they don't think before they act so much. They're kind of, uh, impulsive. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius here. And I feel like you could be even giving this person an ultimatum or, you know, you could be just finally deciding whether or not you want to keep dealing with this person. You could be dealing with the Libra here, um, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Libra. We have strong Libra here. So Capricorn. Your person wants to start something slow, but I feel like they're tempted to go back to being a hoe. I'm just <laughs> straight up. Uh, with the Queen of Wands here. Uh, the Queen of Wands is someone who's very sexy, very passionate, very um, confident. Um, and they not they might not just be tempted to, you know, 
explore their sexuality. I don't feel like that's entirely it. I feel like that's part of it. But in all honesty, you might be dealing with more than one person. You could also be dealing with a baby mother, someone who is a mom, because there's two people on this side. Um, you know, two different feminines. Um, and then there's a knight of cups. So I feel like you're wanting, but I feel like this is more like wanting something slow, wanting something that can actually grow. And there might be a tower moment coming in, but it's just to make mental clarity about, you know, you could have, let's say you're like a, a guy and you have a baby mother, or this is your physical mom getting in the way of you guys' relationship. You know, this might be something that you're going to cut out. Um, even baby mama drama, take it how it resonates. But I feel like, you know, you're choosing to be patient towards this person. You could be very attracted to them. And this person could be rushing in to fix things with you with the Knight of Swords and the Justice card here. But, again, I feel like, um, let's just get some more cards. See, Four of Swords, you're full of introspect here. You're doing a lot of self-reflecting. You're working on yourself. Um, you might have lied to this person or this person, you know, lied to you, took something from you. And now they're coming, like, to give it back um, with the Eight of Swords here. Yeah, you're stuck in your head. Uh, well, not just stuck in your head. I feel like you're thinking about whether or not to, like, if you two are separated, you're thinking about the separation. Uh, and if you two are not separated, I feel like you're thinking about, like, um, you're thinking about, you know, whether or not you should be separate. You should separate from them because they lied to you, you know, kind of like, kind of like that. Uh, you could also be dealing with the Cancer here. You know, you want to move things forward, but I feel like your own thoughts are holding you back. So you're choosing just to, you know, do a lot of introspection here on your person side with the nine of swords, eight of cups and the tower card again. They have a lot of anxiety. They have a lot of stress and I'm just going to shuffle this. Okay. What is the nine of swords, eight of cups, Capricorn, please? Wow. Okay. So you're doing a lot of introspection on yourself. Because you feel like you two are not compatible. You know, it could be there is a separation. And you're, you're here wondering why. You know, maybe I could have done things differently. Maybe if I did this instead of that, it would have turned out like this. Don't dwell on that, okay? Things happen how they're supposed to happen. And then sometimes we get stuck in that cycle where it's like, you know, maybe if I, you know, do it again and I do it this way, you know, th this time it'll work out. You know, d don't hold on to that. Just try to focus on the here and now always, okay? Not Don't be, because we can't change the past. And, you know, the only moment we are really in control of is the current one, to be honest with you, okay? So you're overthinking how maybe this person screwed you over, how they were a player. They lied to you. They're very inconsistent with you. Knight of Wands, please. Yeah, there was a third-party situation. Um, whether that was you or them. Three of Cups, please. Capricorn. Yeah. That's why you're not happy. Maybe you spent money on this person and it's like five of pentacles. Why did I do that? You know, now I, I have less than what I had back then. But in all honesty, you know, once you are in a, like once you enter a crappy relationship, like, well, you don't expect it to be crappy, right? But when you enter the relationship and then when you leave it and it's crappy, um, what happens is that, or it's toxic, not necessarily crappy, but there's toxic, there's addictions there. What happens is that you feel less than than when you than where you were when you entered it and so you heal you know what i mean um so with the two of pentacles here you know there's a lot of responsibilities here that you might be taking care of with the hermit card you know your person is i feel like really um working on themselves i feel like they don't really want to walk away um they don't really want to be alone either so i feel like they're trying to work on any emotions that kind of get in the, the way of their relationship so well, you care about them a lot with the King of Cups here. And then with the uh, Queen of Pentacles, the King of Swords and the Three of Swords. Wow. So you could be telling this person, you know, I was really down for you. You know, I like that you um, or vice versa. Feel free to swap it around. You know, they could be telling you, you know, I was really down for you. I like how you're about your money. You know, you get your own money. You know, you do your own thing and you're able to, you know, help me out as well as others. You know, I like that about you. But I feel like there's just a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress here. There's a lot of temptations. But I feel like what it is is that ego. I feel like ego kind of gets in the way between you guys. Because the way a relationship is supposed to be is you, them, and God. But I feel like you two tend to, um, with the Seven of Swords, Nine of Cups here. You know, someone is like, why do you want to take it slow? Like, you know, is it because you're lying to me? Is it because there's other people? And that's not the case, okay? Um... 
see soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So, Capricorn, December 7th to the 11th. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction there. But the most likely outcome, Capricorn. All right. Yeah, it says give your relationship a chance. Love yourself first, Capricorn. You know, maybe you're just so, if this person's not right next to you, you feel like they're lying to you. And that's, again, it's just, they want to take it slow. And you feel like it's stagnant. You know, there could have been other people involved also, like we saw there earlier. But it says you deserve love. You are lovable. And there's not, a, like, it was a missed opportunity. Unrequited love. There's not enough uh, attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. But I mind you, when I get this card, I've gotten it for some of, like, my clients um, when I read them. It doesn't mean that you're not able to come back together. Okay, it just means right now, there's too much toxicness. There's too much, you know, stuff in the mix, in the matrix here that you guys have to clear out. And it looks like that's what you guys are doing here with the Five of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. Lots of anxiety, lots of thinking, lots of working on you guys, you know, on yourselves. So, but I feel like, you know, maybe your person, um, they're breaking major cycles, okay? It's like major with those tower cards. Um, like, watch. Clarify the disruption for Capricorn's person. See, it's the universe. It's like every all their long-held ideas and beliefs are being changed, okay? So your person's having, like, a major awakening. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. If this helped you guys out in any way, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be talking to you guys later, okay? Thank you. Bye. <laughs>